Hey guys, I just made it out to the club here to test the Sim 2 straight up against the Mizuno STZ. Thank you to Edwin Watts Tampa who's letting me borrow this beautiful club. The STZ and the Sim 2 were my top two driver picks of the year, if you remember. And we're gonna see if I made the right choice. I actually purchased, put my money on the Sim 2, but I wanna see if I made the right choice. We're gonna do that today on the channel. We've got these two drivers set up as close as possible. First, we're gonna start off with their stock configurations. Both shafts stiff and at 60 grams. Now the Sim 2 comes at nine degree loft and 9.5 degree for the Mizuno. We'll do a couple with this stock configuration and then we'll turn my Sim 2 up to 9.5 and we'll see how that changes things. Let's battle these two drivers out. By the way, I wanna let you know that every time that we hit the Sim 2, we're gonna be playing the two ball for the Sim 2. And every time I hit an encore number one, that's gonna be the STZ. All right, first up is the Sim, then we'll hit the STZ. That one was a little bit off the toe, but it's in a good spot. That was also off the toe. Much worse result, I can already tell. Both of those off the toe to start. Well, the good thing about hitting two bad shots is you get to see what miss hits do compared to each other. So we're gonna get a really good taste of that, but I can see it in the air. The Mizuno STZ lost a lot of distance with a less than center contact. Whereas I think the TaylorMade 2 is actually in a pretty good spot. That's really one thing that I liked about it. I know it was actually confusing to a lot of you because I called it forgiveness. And I really should have called it consistency in my 2021 driver review video. But in terms of forgiveness on miss hits, the Sim 2 really is a clear winner. And it's one of the huge reasons I bought this driver because consistency of strike with me and the driver, especially when I'm trying to swing harder, is harder and harder to come by. So I'm really excited for what TaylorMade did in terms of forgiving those miss hits with these drives. All right, so we're going up to the balls here. And we will see both of them still not too bad, actually. But there's one. That's the TaylorMade. That's the Mizuno. It's a good at least 20 yards. We'll hit the rangefinder just to make sure, but it's a, it's a ways, it's a big difference. Okay, so this is the Mizuno here. 113 to the flag, still middle of the fairway. I'll take that. But I think the TaylorMade is gonna be quite a bit better here. Okay, 113 versus 99, so a 14 yard difference there. That's considerable. That's at least a full club, if not a club and a half. Uh, so I've got to say, first test with a miss hit, Taylor Made Sim 2 wins that one. Yeah, buddy. Woo! I'll take that. Again, I had a 50 degree wedge in my hand. That's the difference. I'm hitting back there, 114, I'm hitting pitching wedge. So at least one club difference there and I could take an easier swing. And the result speaks for itself. Let's make the putt now. All right. I wanted to start with the birdie, but we'll take a par. We'll take a par. You never can complain with the tap in par, right? All right, let's go on to number two, see if we can hit a better drive here. All right, better drive there. Launch pretty high. I'm gonna carry the bunker. We'll be in good shape. It wasn't perfect contact, but it was good contact. Sim 2 is up next. Oh. Started off left, it's starting to feign a little bit on me. I think that's the wind pushing it back. Either way, both of them pretty similar in terms of contact. Not dead in the middle, but not bad by any means. Let's go check them out. All right, guys, are you in for a very nice surprise? I'm surprised. I'm in the middle of the fairway here with the Sim 2. But up there, about at least five yards better, is the STZ. It's slightly in the rough. Um, this one actually started left and faded back right. That one pretty much, I started center, and with the wind, it faded back right. And the Mizuno STZ just beat my Sim 2. So do I have buyer's remorse? Maybe. I might be making a switch, but we gotta find out. We gotta keep testing to find out for sure. Here we go, Sim 2, that's the number two ball. And up there 
you're gonna see the Mizuno. Now again, both of those pretty good contact. Uh, one was slightly off the toe, I'd say, with the Mizuno, and the other one was slightly towards the heel with the Sim 2. But there's the difference. Um, they were both pretty good strikes. So that's honestly what shocked me about the Mizuno STZ when I was trying it out. Not only was it super consistent, but it was longer than any Mizuno driver I had ever tried. It also feels good. When you hit the Sim 2, the club feedback is not amazing. You can see it flying fast, but sometimes you don't get that really nice response in terms of how that club feels. But with the Mizuno, the way I described it is it feels like a Mizuno iron. It's got that buttery, nice, soft feel to it. The only thing bad about that, because everything's kind of a yin and a yang, the only thing bad about that is sometimes you don't know if you miss hit it because <laughs> everything feels so good. So again, yin and yang, but I just want to tell you the differences so you can make an informed decision for yourself. All right, test number three coming here. We've got this long par four, so we need some distance. If you saw my last video, you know there's water on the left on this hole, trees on the right, so we've also got to be pretty accurate. We're gonna try the Sim 2 first and see what she does. All right, next up is the Mizuno. That's a good looking ball there. That was hit very well there. That was two good swings back to back. Let's go check those ones out. Up there, we've got the Taylor made. Here we've got the Mizuno. So that one, with, two, with both of them being hit very well, we know the difference. Ah. There's our one, that's the STZ. Let's go ahead and measure this. See how far we are from the T. I'd say that thing's got it beat by 10 yards. 137.2 to the hole, which by the way, both of these drivers are much better than where I normally am here with a good shot. I'm usually like 150 in with my old driver, but let's just see how much better the Sim 2 was right there. All right, here we are. That's the two for Sim 2. What was it, 137.2, now we've got 122. 137, that's 15 yards difference, guys. That's big. That was pretty much what it was on the first hole as well. So two out of three right now, we've got the Sim 2 as winning. Now, the thing I will say again about the TaylorMade, here's the one negative, is if you hit it really good, or if you hit it pretty good, there's really no difference in how it feels. So you can only judge it by the actual ball flight. You guys are seeing the shot tracer, so you probably get a good idea there as well. All right, now one caveat here is I've been playing these drivers stock as they come off the shelf, which means the Mizuno set to 9.5. And my Sim 2 is actually set to 9. What we're going to do now is I'm going to turn this down to 9.5 just so we have a perfect apples to apples comparison here if you were to make some adjustments with your Sim 2. Whoop! <laughs> just lost the head. The other thing is I've now brought out a little bit of a mini launch monitor, my Garmin G80, which I love. So we'll get actual smash factor and some other cool stats from that as well. So here we go, test number, where are we at? Test number four coming. All right, Taylor Maid's up first. Woo, that's even better. Estimated carry 237, club head speed 99, ball speed 147, smash factor 149. that driver okay <laughs> now club head speed 97 smash factor 153 ball speed 148 it says it's going to carry longer we'll have to go and find out so i would say 100 percent nine and a half is the loft for me i like that loft a little bit better sim finally got up in the air really nice for me there so i'm really excited to see what it does i think it's long although interesting that the launch monitor says the Mizuno is going to be long. This is going to come right down to the wire, guys. 
We'll find out together. They look good in the air, both of them. Wow, guys, this is going to be absolutely insane. I'm shocked. Check this out. That is the STZ. Eighty point one, and now we're going over to the Sim Two Ball here. Seventy-one point four. There you have it. Sim Two wins another one. That was a full ten yards difference, even turning it down a half a degree, which I didn't think was going to make that much of a difference, anyways. But in terms of trajectory, it did. I hit that ball perfectly. I knew it right when I hit it. Mizuno, I hit really well as well. All right, guys, let's do this. Sim 2, 9.5. Oh, that's as good as I can hit a ball. That is piped. That's good, too. That's slammed. All right, club head speed 100, ball speed 149, and they estimate the carry to be 240. Now, we're not going to get a whole lot of roll out. It's a little wet day here. But, man, that was really good. That's as good as I've got in me. Let's now test the Mizuno. Oh, that's good. That is good, too. All right. Estimated carry, 237. Club head speed, 98. Ball speed, leaving the club at 147. Smash factor of 151. That's as good as I can hit one. But I'm going to hit one more just in case. Oh, that's good too. That's drawing though. We're gonna have two really good shots out there. All right, my club head speed up a little bit there. 102, ball speed leaving 149, estimated carry 242. Let's see what we got here. This is gonna be interesting. Now, if I'm a betting man, I like the trajectory of the tailor made just a little bit better there. But like you, I have no idea. So we're gonna find out. I hit two balls there with the Sim 2. One was labeled with a two, the other was labeled with a four. And both of the balls for the Mizuno both have ones on it. So we'll be able to know very quickly who's the winner. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I love this stuff. Hope you guys do too. If you like it, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think and what you're thinking about picking up this year in 2021 for drivers. Bunch of balls over here. There's one way up there and we've got another ball right here. All right, let's check this one out. I think I know what it is. It's the one ball that went kind of left on me. Yep, that's right. That's going to be the STZ. Now, that was a really good shot. It had just as much club head speed as the other. Actually, it beat it by a mile or an hour or two. But it didn't go quite as far. Now, we've got a couple of other balls here. Find out what these are. That's going to be one of my Sim 2s right there, okay? just in line with the best that my Mizuno had. And that was not the best I had with the Sim 2. Let's check this one out. I think I know what this one is over here. Yep, that's another STZ. So that one I pushed just a little bit, but another pretty good shot right there. Now the G80 has a measure shot feature. So I can literally measure how far it is from here to that ball. Let's go check it out. But this is the Sim 2 way up here. I'll tell you what, turning it up to 9.5 degrees was the right move for me because I'm picking up even more distance. We're seeing this count up as we go here. I'm gonna leave my bag behind. This is how much further the Sim 2 was. On the best shot I've got with the Sim 2 and the best shot I have with the STZ, that's a 30 yard difference. That is unreal. Just to show you, that's the four. I told you I hit a four. A full 30 yard difference. I'm in shock. I would never guess 30 yards could be the difference there. It looked good in the air. Something about these clubs, they are hot faced. They just fly off. That was the best I had with a Mizuno in two holes in a row. The best I have with the Sim 2 two holes in a row. On one hole, it beat it by 10 yards. On this hole, it just beat it by 30 yards. It's clear, man. Do I have buyer's remorse about the Sim 2? Absolutely not. I could actually get home in two. This I've never been 
past this bunker ever. This bunker doesn't even come into play. And now I'm over here. I've actually got a chance to hit this in two. And that's exactly what I wanted to do this year. The hype is real. Now, you know that I chose the STZ as my number one driver of the year, just narrowly edged out the TaylorMade 2. That's because I do think the STZ overall is a more consistent driver. You're gonna get more consistent results. However, if you want pure distance, there's a very, very clear winner this year. That's what I'm going for, and I'm very happy I made that decision. I'm going with the Sim 2 in 2021. Let me know down below what you're going with. I'd love to find out, and I'll catch you back here next time on another edition of Let's Play 